Hi, in previous video on How to Dentist channel we talked about glass ceramics and protocol of its fixation. And in this video let's talk about the retraction of the gingival margin. Retraction of the gingival margin is a temporary extension of the gingival sulcus. Correct combination of apical and lateral direction of retraction allows to achieve high quality display of edge of preparation. In the practice of prostodontist mechanical and chemomechanical type of retraction are most often used. Mechanical retraction is usually carried out using retraction cords, less often using cofferdam and teflon tape. Cofferdam and teflon tape we will leave for dental stars and congress discussions and talk about retraction threads. Cords can be made from cotton and synthetics. Both of them have advantages and disadvantages. The main disadvantage of cotton cord is the presence of large amount of fibers, which can get to the edge preparation or adhere to the impression. However, waving methods allow it to stretch, providing flexibility and convenience when packing. The synthetic cord has less fibers, but the material's peculiarity and the method of waving do not allow it to change the width of the section, which means that it's necessary to carefully choose the size. Retraction cords can be without impregnation, ideally if the tooth preparation margin is at the level of the gum, and with impregnation, which enhances retraction and provides a hemostatic effect. Cords with impregnation are referred to chemomechanical type of retraction and are recommended for use with subgingival preparation. Impregnation can be made at factory or performed by yourself. Solutions used for impregnation can be divided into two groups, astringents and vasoconstrictors. Astringents cause protein coagulation and reduce cell permeability, thereby reducing the gum. Vasoconstrictors cause spasm of the unstriated muscle of the vessel narrowing it. The most popular of astringents are aluminum chloride, aluminum sulfate. Well, and among the vasoconstrictors, it's of course epinephrine. Aluminum chloride does not cause systemic side effect, but retractive ability is inferior to epinephrine. It has the lowest cytotoxicity and at concentration of more than 14% it can lead to recession of the gingival margin. Aluminum sulfate provides good retraction of soft tissue. However, a number of research reported more pronounced cytotoxic effects on gum tissue than aluminum chloride. Well, now let's talk about the most ambiguous impregnating agent, epinephrine. Provides a hemostasis, excellent retraction and the minimal risk of recession of soft tissues. But insertion of a cord with epinephrine in damaged sulcus can arise epinephrine syndrome, tachycardia, increased respiration rate, increased arterial blood pressure, anxiety and postoperational depression. Epinephrine should be not used in the treatment of patients suffering from hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular diseases, as well as of the people taking drugs, whose action can be intensified. The amount of epinephrine released in the gingival sulcus from 2.5 cm cord for 5 to 15 minutes, according to different authors, ranges from the 225 and 5 tenths to 661 micrograms. Such a volume of epinephrine contains in 3 to 9 couples of a local anesthetic at a dilution of 1 to 100,000 and is the maximum dose for a fully healthy male. There is no ideal substance for the impregnation of cords. Some scientists talk about cytotoxicity, others about the effect of the polymerization of impressions. On these problems scientists are disputes about 60 years old. Because many authors report a negative effect of impregnations on the polymerization of polyether and silicone impression materials, we recommend to thoroughly rinse the gingival sulcus after removing the cord and to avoid direct contact of the impression materials with retraction agents. Most of impregnation agents have an acidic pH. This table shows that the acidity level of all popular impregnation agents is quite high and any acid acting on the cervical area of the tooth can cause sensitivity. The optimal time for the impregnated cord to stay in the gingival sulcus is 10 minutes. But at total prosthetics it's necessary to put 28 cords and this means that the first inserted cord will be in the sulcus for at least 30 minutes. Therefore, the temporal protocol of cord staying in the gingival sulcus is difficult to observe unless the doctor has superpowers like flesh. It's better to start the retraction with the chewing group of teeth and finish in the frontal. 
in such case in an aesthetically significant zone where the biotype of the gum is the thinnest, cords will stay the optimal amount of time. So we get close to the practical features of walking with the resurrection cords. But about this watch in our next video. Write topics you are interested in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next future videos.